I watched this episode in a state of it was like a stupor. <laughs> I just sort of I can't even I haven't even decided if I, if I liked it or not, because I was are changing we, my are mind we every Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to say something to both of you and I don't know. <laughs> I have a where... prediction what it is, but <laughs> <Okay>. go ahead. <laughs> Here's the thing. I love the characters. There there are some characters that I've grown to love. Roller, sure. he's my new favorite. Mm-hmm. This season, at this very moment, after this episode, I'm going to say is not good. Okay. I'm trying, I am wording it very carefully <laughs> because I do think it has potential to like get right back up there and me being like, oh my gosh, I love this. And I love how quick pace a lot of things are. But this season specifically feels like what in the world is happening? And it really feels like they lost what they need to do with specific or what they want to do with specific characters like Uncle Daddy. Uh, Dean, it seems like they're doing something. I but I, I hate it. The way yeah. they got here. Yeah, the way they got here was odd. And I don't know why. I, I, I keep thinking, OK, well, it's going to pay off in the end. But at this point, I'm like, is it? I can't I I imagine how the Dean thing is going to pay off. Unless he j- unless he is kills this a ten Mac. episode or a twelve episode. Um, I don't know how many episodes. Ten. Yeah, I think it's ten. So we've got four left. Okay, so we have four. I feel like with this episode, we completely lost Shade. Okay, <laughs> oh. okay. I could okay. just <laughs> feel it coming through the air. <laughs> okay, I literally, I watch it with my sister every week, and I turn to her during a commercial break, and I was like. Yeah, this is not good. Like I just like, <laughs> so, like maybe maybe when I said that on your side, you were like, I can sense that Shade is saying something right now that's not favorable about this show. Because I did say that out loud. Like I was like, okay, I do I love a, a lip syncing moment with uh Desna? Of course. You know, like do I love like all these little things that they put? But as far as the story, it's just like I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's I don't disagree with you. Okay. I feel like okay. <laughs> we are frequently saying about shows that they sh- and especially these types of shows that they should lean into the crazy. Mm-hmm. And I agree with that. I stand by saying that. And I'm in this like dubious or like nebulous more so than dubious nebulous area where it's like I don't know how to define what is too much and what is not enough, but I mm-hmm. know it when I see it. Mm-hmm. And it's like this had too much and the word that i will zero in on it's not so much that it was too crazy i think it had too much random crazy yes that's a Mm, really good way to put it yeah because here is the thing for me and i posted this on twitter and you thought it was hilarious will Uh uh-huh every single scene i pinpointed what i don't like about mac and melba and it is that every single scene feels like it was cut from season three of twin peaks which aired what two years ago (laughs) mm-hmm That's okay, what so it feels like that. to me. Okay, well, don't. Okay. It's this not is worth what it's it. Like. <laughs> That's what it's like. Because I realized as I was watching them in the office, while he's like railing her from behind and she's mm-hmm. eating popcorn, mm-hmm. kind I was of. like, everything is made out of naughty pine. Naughty pine! In the first place, which is very Twin Peaks. And then it was just like, everything they're doing feels like it's on a different show. And I was like, mm. I can't handle this. I don't... I, even if it were David Lynch, I know he wouldn't explain it to me because he's a fucking weirdo and I just can't <laughs> handle it. I don't I I still think Melba is like interesting kind of, but Mac is so weird. I can't even begin to explain. And actually No, I don't think so. Never mind. But I just I just can't do it anymore. It's something I needs s- to rain give something else in. I still can't comprehend what 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 our goals are, what anybody's right. goals are, what right. any like what we're building to in some sense that like last season the stuff was Lata. I had I feel like I mean, at least the way I remember it is that we had a sense of of momentum. Yeah. And there's this weird just sort of a drift and it's like I understand and and, and 
I wasn't able to to go as far as to say I am enjoying this or I am not enjoying this. It, it, it I, I was not kidding when I said I was perplexed. I was just sort of like, huh? <laughs> because they're and again, like you, Sade, that I do still care about these characters mm-hmm. to an extent where I would keep watching and possibly even watch another season. But the way that they're choosing to do things with these like like what was that lip syncing thing with Desna like why was she singing that song to Dean and about Dean that's like a romance song yeah. it was yeah. really yeah. odd the funniest thing for me the craziest thing and I I also m- my mom doesn't watch the show and every so often I'll make her watch some things that that's like topical I'll be like you should watch an episode of the show so you see what it's like and we got maybe like 10 minutes into the show and she just goes who's the audience for this show <laughs> <laughs> I am reaching I, that point also. I didn't know how to answer her. <laughs> I was like, yeah, because I would say we are the audience. We like yeah. the first and second season, <laughs> right? Yeah. Then mm-hmm. at this point, I, I feel like they're losing us, which is so weird because like we've pretty much been game for anything. And I I think for me regarding like the villains of the season because that's kind of how the show has set itself up like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's going to be a villain of the season that you have to try to conquer right by the time what was it episode 3 when she left the casino I yeah. was like okay are they no mm-hmm. longer the villain or are they going to pop up and be like the boss of another villain that comes up or like what's going to happen and that's, instead yes. it was like this weird like oh, they're not, okay, we don't care about them anymore, but now Dean is stuck in the casino for whatever reason because we want to deal with this, like, addiction plot, which I don't, I I don't think that's a bad plot. No, and I was going to say, if we want to go in, like, a cult direction, then let's do that. Yes, I would have preferred that. Sure, but it's not, yeah, but it's not enough for a cult. It's just Dean and, we haven't been introduced to any of the Mahjong ladies. If we, Mm -hmm. if it was, like, Mm -hmm. culty with the Mahjong ladies and Mac was, like, at the head of it, then fine. But it's, like, for whatever reason, nothing is tying into each other. And do you know what it really reminds me of is like Once Upon a Time, where it's like, if we are... No, I'm going to make my case. No, I, I, <laughs> Trust I'm, me. I'm there already. <laughs> so it reminds me of that because it's like we've been, we've built up Mac, Mac and Melba to be this great menace. And they're really kind of nothing. And now we, you know, we've gotten with the governor, but it's taken over half the season. And then there's somebody even above the governor and Mac and Melba who now we're pissing off. And it's like, why did we waste? We haven't met. No, we haven't met him. So, but, but, but then we've, if that was the goal all along, unless this is going to be like a two season arc, which I think is always risky on drama, like mystery drama like this. Mm hmm. We have taken too much time to get to the point where there's this bigger bad looming in the wings where it's like, I didn't need all of that stuff with Mac and Melba just to get a different villain for four episodes. Well, and the other thing is if they're building to something, because I'm I'm inclined to give a show that has built up goodwill, you know, a, a certain amount of trust. Yeah, definitely. But it's like the in-between stuff isn't even all that enthralling like i yeah virginia did not do anything to jen and so it like i did like that moment though which moment when jen walks in and is just pissed and like (laughs) yes virginia didn't do anything but i was team jen at that moment but yes i I agree with you she didn't do anything well she didn't do anything but i did i also liked those moments because i thought it was important that Jen didn't stay mad for longer than to the end True. of the episode. And mm-hmm. also, True. we got the gem out of that that... Jen has herpes. Well, that Jen has herpes, <laughs> but also that Virginia has not been following Jen on Instagram, which yeah. was apparently the most hurtful part of that. <laughs> that was, like, that stuff was, like, good character stuff and, like, kind mm-hmm. of oh. fun in-between stuff. So I really liked that. And then, <laughs> what's the other thing? There was another thing that happened that I liked. Was it Dr. Ken? No, it was, um, well, that was hilarious, but it was, um... Was it funny to you? Yeah, the, a little. The the furry sex stuff? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, Dr. <laughs> Ken got his own self in that situation. <laughs> For me, and maybe I'm just jaded, whenever, like, a sex thing is supposed to be funny, like, isn't it funny they're skunks in furry costumes? <laughs> to me, I'm just like, you know what? You do you. 
<laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. I'm like, for me, it, it's never it, the joke. I, I guess I miss the joke. I don't have the time in my day. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, you know what? Good for you. I'm happy. You know, like that's, that is how, what my reaction ever, every time. So it wasn't necessarily funny to me as much as I was like, I'm happy for you. I'm happy she feels comfortable telling yeah, it, you about this. You it know, was like, refreshing just... <laughs> that she wasn't embarrassed, that she just exactly. was like, you gave me the confidence to tell you, blah, blah, blah. And then he just like also went with it. But yeah. it was, I mean, the visual gag of two people having sex at in, the night, in yes. public at night in yeah. skunk costumes is hilarious. I guess it was still too much. It was like too soon for me because I we only really got a sense for her. Like I was fine enough with her just being so turned on by him taking control. Sure. And so if we had held this over for the next episode or an episode later, then maybe it would have landed for me. Okay. But this was the thing where I was like, if you if you put on a funny hat, it's funny. If you put on two funny hats, it's funny. If you put on like ten funny hats, I'm like, I don't I don't know what I'm looking at. Like mm-hmm. and it just that it was it was a it was a thing too much because and I realized that we cut you off, Kristen, and I wanted to let you finish your point. So what were you building to? Oh, just the other thing that I liked was the um, fuck, it went right out of my head again. Damn it. Oh, the quiet and stuff. Because that mm, felt yeah. more grounded in previous seasons, where Remember like Quiet Anne, like yeah, I love I love her, and honestly, the fact that Judy Reyes has not a single Emmy is a travesty. Because mm. she was so good in Scrubs. Carla it's, was it's so good. Unbelievable. So I just like I loved the scene with her and Etienne, the guy who got her pregnant, and I love that Desna was like kind of excited about her being pregnant. And I even honestly, I even kind of was digging the scenes with Arlene. And I don't know if it was a byproduct of like the rest of it being too crazy for words that I was just like clinging to Arlene as like a voice of reason. <laughs> but like yeah. I I honestly enjoyed her a lot in this episode. So it's like those things I liked and the rest of it, I just was like, it it was like I was on a roller coaster and my like, my like brace was malfunctioning and I couldn't keep my grip on the ride, you know? Yeah. Because I I loved, like, honestly loved whatever the weird art piece Melba did was. Like, I thought that was so funny, (laughs) but it was like, I wish I was watching that show. Like, I wish that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if if these are the villains that do this crazy shit, then we can't have seven other crazy things happening. Yeah, like, exactly. And it was really funny. A- 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 and the fact that they, you know, committed to it. But I because, I mean, we had crazy the, the lady who kidnapped Roller in the first season. Uh, you yeah. know, that was bizarre. But it it, it but was it was the only focused. bizarre thing. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. I don't so, know. For, for me and Dean, like. I feel like his character has reason to want to push himself away from Desna because she keeps getting involved in things that are life threatening to the point that he had to save her by killing someone. Like, you sure. know, like I, I get it if he was just like, I can't be around you because your your life is so chaotic. And then they decided not to really reflect on that as much as, oh, what he's really upset with is that he has a better connection with Mac. And, oh, he knows yeah. me better than you. Like, that, I was like, what are you talking? Like, it just seemed, like, so out of character. Like, as well, much as I like the character development, this felt, like, not what he would be saying. I, I don't know. Yeah. It just felt weird. No, and I totally agree with you because I, I think you're right. If he were, if he were, I guess if the writers were facilitating it in a way that it was like, I don't feel safe around you. I need space. That would Mm -hmm. be one thing, but they are not going that way, which is a reasonable way to go. Like you said, like I was in danger to the point that I had to kill somebody in order to protect you and myself. And they're not doing that. Instead. It's like, I, I like Mahjong more than you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so weird. Much so that at the beginning of the season, he was leaning into those impulses. Yeah. And, and those... where is that, Dean? It, it, yeah. So I'm sort of like, why did we spend two to three episodes establishing something that, and don't get me wrong, I'm sure by the end of the season, he will have killed some Mac or something. Sure. Of course. But it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel coherent, at least not now. No, I agree. 100%. Uh, yeah. I was going to ask you guys, do, where do you start to say something, Shade? Oh, no, not 
I was about to say, I found myself just looking at Virginia's makeup and just like <laughs> being like, oh, I really like her eye makeup. I want to try to do that. Like, that was how her wig was really pretty. I got. <laughs> you know, I was like, she's so pretty. I like, you know, like that was where I was at in this episode. But sorry. I was that, that way several times. Uh, okay. What I was going to say was, do we think, I mean, for me, I'm fairly forgiving and very, fairly loyal. So it's like, I'm going to see this season through to the end. Of course. And most likely going to give another season a go for yeah. a few episodes. And it, it, again, it depends on where we go. But do we think like something like a bottle episode? Like, do we think an episode about the girls alone would help? It would help me. Rain yeah. this in. I, that makes me think of that one episode. I think it was the first season when they had to do like a nail competition. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't really, but it wasn't really motivating anything beyond just like they need to do it because they might win some money type yeah. of thing. And mm-hmm. yeah, an episode like that, I think would make me feel a little bit better because it'd probably be a focus more on like the characters we've grown to love, you know? But overall, for me, I I know I'm going to watch the show to the end of the season. It has not gotten so bad to me that I would not watch the next season after this. Mm-hmm. It's more of like the next season, if it goes in this path, that's when I might be like, yeah, I'm done. Right? Yeah. Agreed. And I mean, I'm not even... I'm. I'm personally not even at a it's bad place, mm. but I am very confused. It's, I don't... Un, it's unfocused in a way that is detrimental to my enjoyment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, and especially, I wonder if we weren't doing this, like if we weren't recapping this, if we would, because I, I don't know about the two of you, but I feel a slight duty to sort of like understand and re-explain the plot. <laughs> yeah, a little. <laughs> Uh, and so I wonder if I was just watching this, if I would, I think I would still feel pretty perplexed. I, mm. I don't know. I feel like I'd be more irritated because it's nice. Would you talking, really? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's more, it's, it's nice talking to both of you about it and like getting it all out there. I feel like if I was watching it on my own, I might even like stop for a few weeks and then like come back later, you mm. know, and, like, like binge I, it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I wouldn't be watching it week to week if uh, we weren't talking about it. So I'm happy we're talking about it because there's still some things I really enjoy about the show. I just hope that they gain some focus because it really just feels like, and maybe it's me being over analytical, but like, it really feels like at the end of the season, there's going to be something in the casino that we need Dean to be there. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, there, like, there has to be. There's like literally no other way that right? that would that this would make sense having him be there like this. Yeah. So they're like making sure, okay, now he lives in the casino and he hates Desna and whatever. So like now he's there for whatever happens in episode 10, he could come save it. That's at least how it feels, right? Yeah, I agree. The whole, mm-hmm. Like EJ thing, uh, Jen's ex is like, okay, well, he's going to be some type of secret something. Like, we, you know, like it's just like, I don't know what's going on there because it feels really kind of under they're not really focusing on it as much as they were at the beginning. I would rather, I would rather save whatever EJ's up to until a season four. True. Yeah. That would be great. Because but I, I, I don't, don't need know. everything wrapped up this, this season. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I would agree with that. And even like something like with Desna's father, like I thought that well, was, I needed more of that. I yeah. liked him, but it's like, it's if he's gone, I'm like, huh? Yeah, it, exactly. It was, it's if he is not in the show anymore, the fact that she was like, I think I have daddy issues. Let me go find my dad. Found him, and now he's gone within two episodes. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that is mm-hmm. too fast. You know, like, I would like to see more of him. I did like that he was like, I don't know what kind of crazy shit you guys are up to. Yeah. But, like, I, I liked that. And that he's like, I want you in my life. I, I want to see more of him. But it kind of feels like he's there, and maybe they're building something up. I don't know. I know, I know I'm kind of just overanalyzing it, but... It just feels a little like they had, okay, we need Mac and Melba. We have the casino. We have Dean. This is going to be the end episode. Let's just do some, like, filler stuff until we get there. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So, um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I don't have I, – I can't think of it. Like I said, I didn't write any notes, so I can't think of anything else. Um, Isn't that you guys... funny, too, that I was writing notes extent – like, like – two pages worth of notes the first episode, right? <laughs> and then this episode, I was like, I'm not writing notes. No. I'm not like, writing this down. Yeah, no. I'm not going to justify this. <laughs> so, um, okay, well, we will check back in next week. And yes, we will. I have a fair amount of faith that this will come in for a landing. Because that is another thing. I mean, Kristen, you binge-watched 
season one and two, basically. Yeah. So I don't watching it. I don't really think it's an issue of watching weekly, but I, I don't really think so. I mean, it could be, but for whatever reason to me, the real problem is that it just feels so unfocused in a way that like, I think they can still pull out, but I think even if they do, I'm still going to be disappointed at how we spent like four plus episodes in the middle. It's it's also not quite about these women at the moment. Like right. it's not quite about their relationship Which, with like, each other. That's what got me into it in the first place. Yeah, yeah I, so. I agree. I think by the end of this season, we will be like, oh my gosh, we love this, you know, right? But there's still going to be a little bit of a, kind of burned feeling on these middle episodes. Agreed. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, we're like, yeah. okay, we're back, but what happened in the last few episodes? You know, like, I think that's what's <laughs> going to happen. Yeah. So. For sure. All right, cool. Well, we will check back in next week. Okie doke. See how it goes. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.